Hey everyone, Duck at Convology here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Thrive Apprentice with Wishlist Member and Stripe integration so that you don't have to use Sendal. So here we have an example of a very, very default Thrive Apprentice installation with two little courses. Uh, one of them is for logged in users. Uh, if the person clicks on this course, they are sent to, again, my ugly and default registration page. Uh, with one exception here, I have used Wishlist Member and Stripe to create a registration button uh, where the person can log in here or click Join Gold Level. When they click Join Gold Level, it gives them a light box here where they can fill out their information and pay using Stripe. This will then automatically send them to the registration form after they've paid to finish the registration, log in, and get access to this course. Let me show you how to put this together. First thing you want to do is go into Wishlist Member and go to Setup and Integrations and then Stripe. You'll then want to configure this. Uh, pressing the Configure button, it'll ask you for your API keys. You can use your test keys there or you can use your live test or your live keys. And if you don't know how to get those, just Google it. It's really easy. You put them in there you're all set. Hit save and you'll be exactly where I am right now. Next, you're going to want to, and this is this is the part that gets tricky, right here on this page, the products section, you want to click on products and the membership levels that you've created will be listed here. If you haven't created any levels yet on the left hand side here, just be sure to go to levels and create them. Once they're created, you can come into here, find your level. For me, for example, gold level, I made it as a $50 one-time payment or I can link it to a Stripe plan. That's like a Stripe subscription and that can be a reoccurring plan. For this case, I've just used a one-time payment. You can save and close that or uh, just save it. You can go back and edit all the rest uh, of your products or membership levels. Uh, perhaps you have uh, different levels to get access to different courses. Uh, these don't have to be tiered. This could simply be uh, a plan for like uh, if you had a course A, you could have level A and level A gets access to course A and level B access to course B, etc. Now, uh, the next important thing that you want to do is right here where it says button code, you can click on this code symbol, press control C, that will give you your short code. That short code is going to go into the registration information. So let's now go to the registration information inside of Wishlist Member, which is what Thrive redirected us to. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, in order to edit that page that you saw where I had the Join Gold Level button, you want to go to Wishlist Member, Advanced Options, Global Defaults, and you want Error Pages. It's not exactly intuitive, but Error Pages is where you'll find the pages that get shown to people who have the wrong membership level, or who are non-members. In our example, we were a non-member, but it would have worked the same for wrong membership level too. You wanna to click the configure button and paste in, which I've already done here, paste in that short code that you got, and make sure you, make sure you don't use any uh, formatting. Uh, paste in that short code that you got, and that will render the button. It's not the most beautiful button, but it's something that you can edit using your theme. So it's going to uh, d depend heavily on what your button default styles are with the theme. Of course, you can do CSS and edit that as well. If you need help with that, feel free to leave a comment in my blog article related to this post or in the YouTube video, and I can give you the CSS code that you need. But essentially when you're done here, you simply hit save and close. And you can do the same thing for wrong membership level. You can come in here and say, hey, you know, you don't have the right membership level, you know, write whatever you want, paste in your short code, save and close, and there you go. If somebody is a member of group B and wants to view course A, they, they will then see the message that they need to join that particular membership level or purchase that particular product. They can be used interchangeably. Now, something that I'd already done, you want to go to Thrive Apprentice. You want to edit your course that you're protecting. You'll find that under course restrictions, this tab right here. You want to enable restrict access. I have already done this, but you want to, um, here I'll delete it for you. Add a rule using wishlist member. Choose the level that you want to grant access to this course. Click add rule. And there you go. Now anyone, I'll delete that real quick because we're not using this. Now anyone that wants to gain access to this course in Thrive Apprentice will be redirected to the wishlist membership page 
that controls logins. That's the error page. So this is the very basic and default setup that comes with Wishlist Member and Thrive Apprentice. Some of you are asking for this video because it allows you to get rid of something like SendAL. I'm personally not a fan of SendAL. I, I prefer um, Thrivecart or using just a Wishlist Member's default uh, integration because it's one less thing that I have to pay for. Uh, I can use the things that I already have. So let me walk you through real quick bring back over this screen here let me walk you through real quick what this looks like for somebody who joins uh, the the membership after you've done all the steps I just walked you through so you get this nice branded light box here uh, you can um, type in any name you want we'll do test 2 email put in our stripe test credentials because that's what we have and then we will enter a date in the future and some fake info and hit pay. This is automatically going to send this information to Stripe. Once it processes, it's going to send me to the registration page. Again, super ugly page because I'm just using the basic WordPress theme here. But essentially now we have create an account or if I was an existing user, I could click here and log in, which is pretty cool. So let's make my username um, test to username. And here's what I love. It brought over automatically my email and information that I had entered. So let's just enter in a password and hit submit registration. There we go. We are now registered. We've paid for everything. You can customize uh, all of this success messages and things like that. But essentially when the user goes back to courses and they try to access the course, there they go. They have access and again this is just the default so if you have any questions about how to integrate wishlist member and their default native stripe integration and use that for thrive apprentice to protect your courses and charge for access to your courses feel free to let me know happy to answer any additional questions that you have and also if you're watching this on youtube i do have more information in the blog article link down below in the description where you can find my written walkthrough of this if you prefer to read with some photos that might help you as well. Again, this is Doug from Convology. Thanks for watching.